Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Noah was described as a white man in the book of Enoch. He was? He was. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was in the book of Enoch. He was described as a, as a white man. Okay, I'm, I'm glad you said that. If, in the if, book of if, Enoch. If, 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 if Esau is a white man, why isn't he described like Noah? Okay. As a white man. He's a, I'm just saying. Okay. That's so where in the Bible, Bible is I'm, Noah? I'm, I'm not even done yet. Okay, Esau takes his wives from where? Ishmael and Canaanite women. So what happens when a white man sleeps with black women? They come, the offspring come out black. Sometimes. So it's, it's all the time. Sometimes. It's all the time. Sometimes. Show me where that happens in life. What happens when, a, sometimes black people have kids with black people and they come out white. That's, that's, right. that's Yeah. That's a condition. Yes. Okay. Guess what? That's what Esau's condition is. That's right. That's what Esau's condition is. He's Bring it out. He's the world's first, well, he's the world's second albino. He's not albino. Yes, he is. Let me tell you what difference in the Okay, according to the commentaries on Hebrew scripture, Esau is considered a significant character in world history and the forefather of the Roman Empire. So what color are the Romans? The Romans that we've been taught to understand are white people. Thank you. But, but they were Thank also you. black Romans. Yeah, you're right. They, they were. were. The they were the Romans that were brought into slavery that were the Israelites. The That's the right. Christ lived in Rome. No, the right. disciples lived in Rome. Right. They were not just white Romans, they were black Romans. Yes, they were there from slavery. No, right. Yes, right. they were, brother. Prophetic people were Romans also. No. Yes. Have you heard of Chittim? Yes, Chittim is, is Greece. That's not Rome. That's Esau. Esau came from the land of Chittim. Matter of fact, now I gotta go through it. Give me first Bring it out. chapter one. Bring it out. Alexander the Great come from the land of Chittim from Macedonia. Bring it out. Stop it, stop it, stop it. You hate your people. This you do. Yes, you're showing, you're showing us hate by trying to destroy the laws of God and try to change them to something else. You don't believe that the so went through the same thing we went through. When you can look in every hood and see them right next to you. You don't believe the white man that's been shooting us down in the street. Matter of fact, stop that. Obadiah. I'm going to prove to everybody out here who the so-called white man is. Bring it out. We just gave you a baby name book. It said that the, the, Roman, the Romans were called Esau. The so-called Romans are the white man, according to the Bible. So, give me, give me, before we go to Esau, let me get uh, uh, Romans 9 and 13. Bring it up! Why, why I'm going to this in the first place. I'm so tired of our people trying to give the so-called white man a pass for the things that he's done to us. Right. God ain't giving him a pass, so why are you? Right. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 13. Bring it up! As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau, have I hated? God hate Esau. That's right. That's right. Newsflash. God hates the so-called white man. Why? Because you are the children of God, and he treats you like crap. Right. So when you, like for you, what's your son's name? Sister. What's his name? When you, blue. Blue. So if I treat blue like crap, how you gonna feel towards me? You're not gonna like me, right? So when you treat God's children like crap, God don't like you. That's, That's right. Easy, easy peasy. Easy to be understood. Go to Obadiah 1 and 1. Bring, Bring it out. out! The book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 1. Let's see, see who this fits. Read. Bring the vision of Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah. According, who is it about? Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. Edom. Esau's name was changed to Edom because he likes raw meat. And when the meat was red, he ate it. So God changed his name to Edom because Hebrew word for Edom means red. Bring it out! Who likes their meat raw? Mm. Who likes their meat raw? Bring it out! The so-called white man, right? right. Who likes right. it? When we was growing up, it was only well done. Right. Now you got medium rare and rare and medium, all this bloody crap. It ain't cooked, it's raw! That's right. That's right. Read. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Because that's what's gonna happen at the end. All the nations that Esau has been destroying, they gonna rise up against him in the end. They doing it now, that's what you're seeing. The, the terrorism and all that, that is because God said they finna start rising up against Esau, and that's, the, that's when you know that your time is coming, sister. Sister, brothers, brothers over there, sisters on the bus. That's how you know that God is getting ready to come for you because you're starting to see terroristic activity in America. Read, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Because when you look at all the people on the planet, the so-called white man is the least of them. 
Read. Thou art greatly despised. And he's hated amongst all nations. Hey, Why? Man. Because he go to their land, he change their laws, he make them become the Democrats and Republicans, he make them take their own land, and then they gotta go and buy their own materials from him, and then he make them pay for their own water, he make them pay for their own food, their own clothes, he take them, he make them uh, his religions, he turn their religions and make them white now. Bring it That's out! Why he hate them. Read. Bring it out! The pride of thine heart have to see me. Because he's very prideful. The so-called white man is the most prideful man on the planet. Read. Though thou, do, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. He rock. dwelled in the cliffs of the rocks. He was called a knee, what is it? A Neanderthal, a caveman. That's they call, that's why they call Caucasian, because they lived in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. That's why you always didn't say Mother Russia. It's Mother Russia, because that's where they was at. Read. Read. Whose habitation is high. Their habitation is high, they like to live in high places. Look around, Houston. Look at downtown. Are the buildings low or are they really high? Who created skyscrapers? It wasn't us. Hmm. Read. Whose habitation is high? That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down he to said, the ground? He said, who gonna bring me down to the ground because I'm running everything. Trump. Read. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. What symbol is America? On the back of your dollar bill, it got a, it got a pyramid and what else he got on it? Eagle. An eagle. When a, when a president give an address, Guess what's on the middle of the float? An eagle. Now, show them all the symbols of the eagle. Is, that on, is it on that one? I want the people to see. Come and look. Come and look and see what the so-called white man image has always been. This has always been his mascot. This ain't nothing new. This is biblical right here. What's the what's them coins? Show them the coins. What coin is this from, sister? Greek. What, what is that? What, what animal is that? Look at it. What is that? An eagle. Okay, let's go to Rome. What's that? Okay, let's go to Spain. What's that? Okay, now let's go to America. What's that? They've always been the eagle. That's, That's the reason why Holat, Deuteronomy 28 and 49. That's the reason why the Bible tells you this is going to happen in the curses. This is the eagle is the, the so-called white man's mascot. Why? Because it likes to dwell high and it preys on his enemies. Read. Deuteronomy chapter... You got it. Chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Because we were in Africa at the time, hiding out. And where were they from? America. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flying. As swift as the what flying? As the eagle flying. As the eagle flying. The so-called white man symbol is the eagle. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Did we know English when they came over there? No. No. We had to be taught English. Just like the Spanish taught the so-called South Americans to speak Spanish when they came over. Right. They didn't know what they were saying when they met Columbus. They were speaking Hebrew. Right. Read. A nation of fierce continents. A nation with fierce continents mean they don't care about you. Watch. Read. Which shall not regard the person of old. Because his that uh, blue would have been picking cotton right along you. And then when he went to sleep, master would have came and raped you and tried to put another seed in. Read. Lord show favor to the young. They ain't care nothing about the young. He won. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. And you, sir, you ain't getting no retirement plan here because they don't care about you. The old man used to be taken care of. Right. And no more, you gonna die here in hard bondage. If not, you gonna be living on a corner. Read. And the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed which also shall not leave thee neither corn, wine, nor oil. Because you can't even grow your own food. He took everything from you. That's it's like right. he took everything from the South Americans. Everything in South America, they can't even grow no more. You go to Brazil, they don't have nothing, but they got the most resources on the planet. Everywhere you go, they snatch and take all the resources, and then they leave the people with nothing. And then they come back and give them GMOs. Now go back to where we was at. Read. Obadiah chapter, verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. So though you thank you the eagle, keep going. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. How do you set your nest amongst the stars? What's in the stars? What's in the stars? What's in the stars? Space, space. space stations, space. right? Who did that, sister? Who got the space? Did the black people go to space? Who got the space? What two, what two nations do you know was the first two to race for space? It was America and Russia. Two white nations. Both symbol the eagle. Read. Vince, will I bring thee down? God said, Lord. once you go into space, I'm going to start bringing you down. This was in 1969. That's when we lost our first war in America, the Vietnam War. Read. 
And then they just start going downward and downward and downward. Read. Verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? So the so, so God said, if a thief came to your house, he would just steal till he had enough. He said, but they're not the white man. The white man take everything. Remember, manifest destiny from sea to shining sea. I want everything. That's the spirit of the so-called white man. He can't let you have nothing because his spirit won't allow it. That's why they'll come over here. They see us teaching. They want our flyers. They want to know what we're talking about. Because in their mind, they think that they're supposed to have everything. Right. And we're their servants. Right. Read. Right. If, the great, if the great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Read. Exactly. Oh. He's saying, dang, wouldn't you leave something left? Read. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are the things the so-called white man has done been searched out through history? History has been exposing all the things they have been doing to us over time and time and time. That's what it says in the scriptures that say the earth helped them. History is starting to reveal the truth about us. Because in the 60s, you didn't know you was an uh, Israelite. But now we got proof you're an Israelite. Right. Easy proof. You know why? Because there's, there's nuclear bombs now. We've had World War I. We've had World War II. We came over here in slavery. The so-called white man has repainted himself as God right. on the earth. Right. Christ is a white man now, right. but he always was black before. Bring it up. Now Bring it up. we know that the, the so-called white man is the enemy of God. Yeah. Because he's proving it every day. Now it's legal to be gay. Now it's gay marriage is legal. Right. Everything God makes, he gonna go opposite. Right. Is that all they got on them? What else? How are his hit things sort up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. That's what's going into, that's going into all the people that he's made these confederate, like the United Nations. All those people that, that eat bread, break bread with him, that go do trade with him, they all gonna turn against him. Like this brother right here across the street. He's destroyed. You know why he's destroyed? Because the so-called white man has told him it's okay to dress like that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Sister, that just left with her son. You sisters that's across the street. Does this brother that's walking across the street, does he look normal to you? Does that look okay to you? To be dressed like a woman in a dress with lipstick on? Does that look normal to you? I know every last one of y'all answer would be no. You know why? Because it's against God. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So the way that that man is walking around with that dress on looking odd, you look odd with them pants on, sisters. It's time to repent. If he look weird to you, you look weird to God. So it's time for you to repent and start coming back to dressing the way you're supposed to. As a daughter of Sarah, as God's chosen. Now, bring it out. Brother, Warif. Warifa. Yeah, I'm going to answer you. I just wanted to prove that Esau's so called white man. Okay. Well, you, you just read Deuteronomy 28 and 49, and you said. Uh, uh, a nation whose language you, you will not speak, right? Would not understand. Would not understand. Yes, right. Okay, so did Esau speak Hebrew or did he speak something that Jacob wouldn't understand? This is. Hold on, hold on. Did you answer my question? We're answering your question right now. We're going to answer your question right now. Uh, we answer with facts, brother. Okay. In 1513, in an attempt to. That's a fact. This is a day to happen. Read. In an attempt. To silence I gave you the Bible and you questioned it, so now I'm giving you history. I gave you the Bible and said we didn't understand their language, so now I'm going to give you them showing you that we didn't understand their language. Read. In an attempt to silence further any further protest, the jurist Juan Lopez de, las, de Palacios Rubios, one of King Ferdinand's ideologues, drew up a document known as the requirement or requerimiento. requerimiento. This began with a history of the world since Adam. It finished with a gruesome account of, a, of what would befall any Indian who refused to obey. Every conquistador was to carry a copy of this document with him and to read it in the presence of a notary before making attack. The fact that the document was in Spanish, a language no Indian could then understand. So read that part again. The facts 
that the document was in Spanish. So read Deuteronomy 28 and 49 again. Yeah. Read, you want me to read, read this while he finds Deuteronomy 29? A language I mean. no Indian could then understand. Made so it. Spanish was a language that no Indian could understand. Yes, Deuteronomy right. 28 and 49 where it Bring says it, it in the Bible. Deuteronomy. There's more. I, I, I ain't finished. I just want that part. Go, go. 28 verse 49. Yeah. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth as swift, swift as the eagle flying, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So God said you're not going to understand their language. They said that we didn't understand a language right here. Say it again. The fact that the document was in Spanish, a language no Indian could then understand. So they didn't understand it. We got proof from the Bible. We got proof from the white man. Read. That it made no attempt to explain the complex legal and theological terms in which it was expressed. And it was frequently read at night. So not only did they not understand it, but they wouldn't even try to break it down so the people could understand what they were saying, and they waited till they were asleep, like some cowards. Right. Esau and Jacob spoke the same language, brother. They spoke the same language. There's no. They this can't is get around, talking about the Spaniards. But we talk this is talking about modern day era. This is talking about modern day era. This is talking about modern day era. Have a good day, brother. Have a good day. How you gonna go back and talk about Jacob and Esau, talking about they spoke the same language, but you said it was the so-called white man wasn't Esau a second ago. He caught your own self. Go back to that. How you doing, brother? What's your nationality according to the Bible? Huh? I'm Baptist. You Baptist. Where in the Bible does it say the nation of Baptists? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.